I can't believe people are actually watching my crappy channel. This video is going to be quite interesting. It is a viewer story on his experience and how he became a gun owner. I'm going to give you the short version and then the extended, more detailed version. And the user goes by Dark Phantom 5638. He said, unfortunately, I got into guns from a very bad situation, just like you. I was at my house with my family and everyone was sleeping other than me. Someone was trying to invade my home and we had no weapons. I picked up my grandma's cane as a weapon. Anyway, long story short, the guy broke through one of our doors on the back porch. Thankfully, he did not get in. The police got there and he ran off. Most likely ran through our farm. Short time after that, my mom bought her first handgun and I bought a rifle two years later. Unfortunately, not old enough to buy a handgun. That was a short version um, I don't know why, out of everything, what really stood out to me was when he said, when he said they most likely ran through our farm. Me, being ignorant as always, I, I just assume um, the majority of people with farms and or ranches are always armed, have guns, firearms, weapons, stuff like that. And surprise, surprise, I was wrong. So I learned something new, man. I thanked him for sharing his story and I mentioned I would most likely do a video on it because I found it interesting, which he responded with the extended version, which is even better. This is the extended version if you want to read it. Glad to share it and hopes no one becomes a victim like I almost was. The guy first rang the doorbell because I was in my room playing PlayStation. Thank God I was still awake. So I came outside to see who was ringing the doorbell at 3 a.m. I did not open the door, but decided to wake up my mom because I felt like something bad was going to happen because he kept ringing the doorbell. Well, I knew about the home invasions that happen when people open the door, so I definitely was not about to do that. The guy knew we were home because my mom flipped her lights on and made sure our car doors were locked with the keys and the guy jumped up like he'd been shot. <laughs> Instead of him being an intelligent human and realizing that he can't rob a house with people in it, he proceeds to walk around the house. Still attempts to bust into the house and broke one of our doors. And my only thoughts were, he must have had something bad in mind because he had no care in the world for his own life or my family's. There could have been more than one home invader, we weren't sure. The police found a lady down the road at 3 a.m. looking for her 185 pound black lab, which I call bullshit. She was obviously a getaway driver. Yeah, she probably was. You're, you're right about that. And that's not even the end of the robberies. My grandma's second home, which was right down the road, got robbed three times this year. And my grandma had, a, had very important stuff in there. They ransacked the house so bad. They ripped the washing machine and dryer out of the wall, flipped our couches, and stole my great-grandparents' wedding stuff. And cracked my great-grandmother's photo, and that really made me very upset. My whole family is pretty much armed now. I hope you like this long story about why I will never purposely be caught lacking again. Smart man, don't get caught lacking. And if you want to make a video about this, I would be very happy about that. Maybe someone will learn from where I made mistakes. See, I told you guys it was a pretty good story. As I'm reading through this, um, I don't see many mistakes that were made. I mean, you heard the noise. He got his mom. He did not open the front door. They made sure doors were locked and they called the cops and he even grabbed what weapon he could, which was what? I think he said his grandma's cane at the time. If you guys enjoyed that story, chime in, let Dark Horse know what you thought about his story. And Mr. Horse, why did I call him Dark Horse? It's Dark Phantom. Mr. Phantom, thank you again very much for sharing your story. I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. Peace and chicken grease.